Hey there, Motorcycle and Power Sports News fam. This is Jackie Van Ham. We are here at AIM Expo in beautiful Las Vegas. And I have the privilege of chatting with Josh from Piaggio Group Americas about some of the very cool bikes and scooters going on over at this display. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us, Josh. Thanks for coming by. I'm always happy to see you. I wanted to talk a little bit about a handful of machines in particular because I have to narrow myself down because you have so much cool stuff here. Yep. I would literally be here and this would be a four hour video, but we're going to try to narrow it down and chat about just a handful of machines that really stand out, particularly for 2024, including this beautiful bike that's in front of us. Yep, yep. Well, I mean, I'd love to give you four hours because we have four brands, so I think they all deserve an hour of everyone's time, but I, I know time is limited. But again, always happy to talk to you guys. Um, we like what you're doing over at MPN. Um, always giving some some good exposure to the to the brands at Piaggio Group. The love and, is mutual. Yes, the love is absolutely. mutual. absolutely. So we're here today in, in front of the, the, the all new color for 2024, the Aprilia Touareg 660. Um, this bike was released a few years ago. It's the, it's the third iteration of our 660 parallel twin, which uh, debuted on the RS 660 as the first model, then the Tuana 660. And then this one, when the, when the Touareg came onto the market, um, we kind of, uh, uh, Piaggio Group and Aprilia really wanted to kind of like flip that adventure motorcycle market on its head. Okay. Um, there's there's a, there's a lot of competition out there, and we saw uh, an opportunity segment to kind of like elevate that. Hmm. And with the performance that we're getting out of this bike, proven in the RS 660, um, we wanted to make a real true get after it, go in the woods ADV bike, but that didn't compromise for the street either. And that's that's really the hardest thing to do with this. Okay. How do you get the best of both worlds out of one motorcycle? There's yeah, all, one's always going to give way to another, right? Um, and Ever since the bike came out, all of the reviews, the road manners on this bike are fantastic, but it can get really gnarly off-road. <laughs> so. I bet it can get really gnarly off-road. Yeah. Uh, it definitely looks the business. I know there's a several very trick bells and whistles on this bike in particular. Mm -hmm. If you can go ahead and talk us through a little bit of the yeah. bells and whistles. I mean, TFT dashes are, are kind of like the norm these days, yeah. right? So of course we got the integrated TFT dash, which has been developed over the full range of, of Aprilia motorcycles. Um, Obviously, multi-level traction control, ABS, all the safety features, optional quick shifters. Um, what else do we have on here? Tubeless, tubeless spoke wheels, which oh, is very cool. fantastic on a on a on a bike uh, at this price point. I mean, you're usually paying a lot more money for a bike with with some of these features. So, the Prilly has always been known for electronics. Um, they really innovated the modern uh, superbike electronics. Um, and, and they carry on through the full range. Right on. So um, chassis development's another thing, even though this one has a, a tubular uh, trellis chassis set up as opposed to the aluminum one, uh, chassis dynamics have always been Aprilia's strongest suit. Uh, okay. Anyone that rides them, it's just the feeling you get, the feedback, oh. um, it's it's just an amazing machine. And then in, in uh, we just returned to off-road racing and, and actually took victory with the uh, Pirelli Touareg 660 at the Africa Eco Race. So, I did see that. Yes, I did yes, see that. That's yeah. excellent. I guess yep. I didn't realize that it was this machine. It was this machine. Absolutely. With very minor uh, upgrades, you know, very just just to be competitive. Well, I mean, obviously then this clearly means the business. This is not here just to be pretty. This is meant to go out and actually really, really, really accomplish off-road riding and be very stout and very appropriate for that right absolutely yeah this isn't just like this doesn't just live its life on the highway no it can no. though it can it can it but can. also she wants to go in the dirt mm -hmm. very cool very 100%. cool um there's another machine i want to talk to you about as well because i am also a moto guzzi fangirl at heart yes so i definitely wanted to chat with you about another machine that is very interesting to me which is the stelvio so let's go ahead and go check that bike out absolutely Piaggio Group Americas actually is an umbrella of several different brands. Mm -hmm. Can you talk us through that a little bit? Yeah, um, I mean, Piaggio Group Americas, well, Piaggio Group, if we're gonna get official about it, we're, we're, we're the America affiliate of the Piaggio Group. Um, it all started with Piaggio and, and uh, obviously Vespa, Aprilia Moto Guzzi. So um, after 19, 1946 was really when Piaggio started and, and the Vespa line started and then it just, it morphed Every Vespa is a Piaggio, but it, it, Vespa then morphed into its its own brand, right? Um, we 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 often talk with people and say it's just like a, a, I guess like you know a Chevy Camaro, 
a, a Piaggio Vespa because Vespa was a model, it means wasp. And then it morphed into its own brand. And over the years, through thousands and thousands of sales of Vespa scooters, after the, after the acquisition of uh, Aprilia and Moto Guzzi, all under one family. So it, it, it's, it's kind of nice because now we're seeing uh, in 2024, more than ever, a lot of shared technology, which will actually make a lot of sense when we talk about this motorcycle and Perfect. how we got here. So having all those resources, again, under one group, it, it, it allows us to really change the world. Very cool. As far as mobility goes. Very cool. Well, that's why I kind of wanted to get a little bit of the backstory of like the bigger picture sure. of what Piaggio is. Because mm -hmm. we just discussed and chatted a little bit about that. Very cool, really over there. Yep. But now I want to talk about Moto Guzzi. So I just yes. wanted to connect the dots about why we're talking about yeah. two different brands on one piece of carpet. It's because it's the same parent company, Correct. right? So Correct. let's go ahead and chat about this Stelvio. Because I know this yeah. is a very exciting machine. Adventure market's so hot right now. Adventure market's so hot for forever and ever. Yep. Um, and this bike absolutely stands out. I really, really am a big fan. Yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about the Stelvio? Sure, sure. So um, the Stelvio right here, uh, our, our newest uh, model for 2024, but it comes uh, from the previous year in 2023 when Moto Guzzi did something no one ever thought would happen. And that was introduce a water cooled engine. Okay. So in 2023, we released the D100 Mandelo. Um, and the Mandelo S, which is also located here. It was the first time that Moto Guzzi went ahead and said, you know what? It's time for water cooled. We wanna be able to be in compliance with Euro 5 plus emissions. So that was part of it. Um, the other part of it was just kind of like keeping up with the Joneses. We wanted to get a little more horsepower, a little more torque, yeah. uh, make pad that spec sheet a little bit. And the only way to do that is through water cooling as we've all seen by some of the other competitors in the market. Um, so it was, very revolutionary for them to do this, especially being Europe's oldest continually produced brand in the world uh, that, that can never be beat as long as they're still rolling. Um, but again, this was what I said earlier about that collaboration inside the Piaggio group. And, and, and there was a lot of uh, teamwork between the folks at Mandela Delario and in Noale at the Aprilia factory to help bring this bike to market and the V100. Um, so on this bike, we have the new compact block, 90 degree opposed V-twin motor. So again, this is the only um, bike in production right now, mass production with an opposed V-twin in that 90 degree configuration. There's other opposed V-twins out there, but this is the only one that's doing that. So we, we, we kept a lot of the heritage from the brand by not changing that, but again, moved into the 21st century with this. Aside from the, uh, obviously the added performance, the going water cooled and, and the, the change of this engine, uh, we've uh, increased service intervals, which okay. is something I think is very important, whether important. you're on a sport tour or an adventure tour, because the whole name of the game is, I want to get out and ride. I, I, I don't want to spend time with my bike in the shop getting its routine maintenance. So yeah. we've increased that a lot. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a stunning machine and it is a venture touring bike. Um, one of the other things that was really, I, I guess it was, a, it was a, a critical thing for the designers to do on this bike because adventure bikes are inherently tall, especially larger displacement ADV bikes like this one, and they become less approachable. With this one, it has a very low seat height. Um, I'm only 5'7", and I have a 30-inch inseam. I, I can sit on this bike and I'll be on the balls of both of my feet comfortably. So it, it gives you that confidence. You yeah. know? So I think it, it becomes more approachable. And I, I think this appeals to more of the masses. Yeah, so, definitely. No what you're Not everybody's five foot 10 out here. No, no, Not everybody's no. as tall as I am, Josh. No, ab <laughs> absolutely. I, I get it. I get it. But again, just like with the Aprilia, you know, again, that same, same shared technology, all that, all that electronic know-how, that, that goes into our Aprilia, uh, you know, uh, super bikes and adventure bikes, gets adapted into the into the Moto Guzzi. Okay. Um, so we have all that multi-level trash control, cornering ABS, again, just like on the Stelvio, tubeless spoke wheels. Cool. You know, just amazing, amazing machine. Ride modes, other bells and whistles. Yes, yes, you have all your ride modes. Um, like I said, multi-level uh, uh, trash control and ABS, cruise control, of course, TFT display, electronically adjustable windscreen. Big That's perk. always nice, yes, absolutely. When we released the V100, this, this bike's predecessor, what, what this was built off of, um, they teased the, the Stelvio at ICMA 
Um, we, we, we saw some uh, just wheels in, in a, what is that? They wouldn't really show it. And um, customers knew that with the V100 coming out, they assumed that if it was either going to be a Stelvio or something like the Stelvio. So we saw a lot of people chopping at the bit. Very cool. I can't wait to see all of that footage as soon as it hits the yeah. internet. It sounds like a very, very good time. I can't wait to get you on one so you can tell us what you think. Even better. I like where right. your head's at, yeah, Josh. Exactly. That's perfect. Exactly. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about all of the awesome bikes going on over here at Piaggio Group Americas.